Okay, everybody, this is Stinger for the NES. This is the official sequel of Twin B. Remember, the original Twin B was released on arcade, the NES, among other consoles and systems. Including special editions like the one I played for the Game Boy last week. But this one is. The sort of official sequel of Twin B that only was released on the NES, and as you can see, it has um, horizontal scrolling orientation, let's say, but also has the traditional vertical orientation. I think most of the levels of this particular game are. Uh, or has, or have, sorry, the typical vertical scrolling orientation from Twin B games. But this additional feature actually makes the game really interesting in general. The difficulty is. at the beginning, it's really, really easy. All of a sudden, uh, it gets a dick. It's normal, typical in Konami games, let's say. There's not so much to say about this. The bosses are hilarious, but really hard, some of them. Some others are pretty much easy, because you are... You have time for, for, for following the pattern and, and follow it. You know, for for, for uh, memorizing it properly. That's a good thing. Another element. Apparently, the horizontal levels are a bit longer than the vertical ones. You will realize how long uh, this level is gonna take, and how long the next ones gonna be taking. The vertical ones. Apparently in this game you cannot get power-ups as such. You know, better range or spread gun or something like that. But you can get uh, invincibility as you can see. Which is useful. I don't really recall invincibility items in the first Twin B, but at least in here you can uh, get that possibility. Where are those ice cream bars? I'm, I'm not sure of it. But yeah, typical feature from Twimby games is basically that food is attacking you. For the most part, fruits uh, at times. I, I'm remembering basically uh, enemies from other Twimby games. There are a lot of them. Okay, both time. That was the fucking MSN. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, just a sound. No big deal. Watermelon, I guess. Yeah, first boss is kinda easy in general. 